What's up, everyone? And today I'm bringing a deck profile on my Seamorph deck. Now, um, since my uh, last Morph deck profile, a new archetype has come out that uh, I can actually put in this deck to make it a lot stronger, aka Tri-Brigades. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, because less than half the people watching this video are not subscribed. Let's fix that by subscribing. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the deck profile. First, I run three Smorph Bird of Bringing, or not Bird of Bringing, Bird of Beginning. When this card is normal summon, you can activate this effect. During your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one Smorph monster in addition to your normal summon. So it's a double summon for Smorphs essentially. And it also has the additional effect, which uh, all the lower level Smorphs do, is when this card is in your graveyard and your opponent controls no cards in their spell and trap zone, you special summon this card in defense position, but banish it when it leaves the field. Next, I run three Smorph Bird of Bringing. I actually really like the art on um, bringing. Now, when bringing is special, uh, when bringing is normal summoned, you can add one smorph card from your deck to your hand. So it could be spell, trap, mo or monster effect. Although we don't really have any smorph traps. And if this card is in your graveyard and your opponent controls normal cards in their spell and trap zone, you can special summon this card in defense position. All, so all the lower level smorphs have that effect. Like smorph bird of protection. Smorph bird of protection. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one card your opponent's spell and trap zone. Return it to the hand. This one I only run one of because you're going to be going first with this deck and this is not that great of a card going first. It's a good going second, all of this whole deck just struggles going second. Because your opponent's going to have maybe one or two cards in the spell and trap zone. So the secondary effect just becomes completely useless. I run one Simorph, Lord of the Storm. Your opponent cannot target this tribute summon card with spell trap card effects. And you can use, and you can use each of the following effects once per turn. The first effect is when a spell or trap card effect is activated. Quick effect, you tribute one wing beast monster, target one card your opponent controls, shuffle in the deck. So essentially whenever they activate the spell or trap, you can uh, take that spell and shuffle it right back into the deck. Although that effect's not quite as good because let's say someone like Rota would be like, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll use Rota again. For like a continuous spell, that could uh, definitely negate it. When a wing beast monster you control is destroyed by battle while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. Also run the Once Morph of Darkness. Darkness, if you tribute summon a dark or wind monster, you can special summon this card from the grave if it was there when the monster was tribute summoned. And when a spell trap card effect is activated, quick effect, you tribute one wing beast monster, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. So this one bounces them back, and this one is your negation for the spells and traps. But no uh, monster negations. But that's where the tri brigades come in. First, I run uh, three tri brigade Nerval. All the tribe gates have the effect to you can banish any number of beasts, wing beasts, beast warrior monsters from your extra deck or monsters from your grave. And especially some elite monster with the link ring equal to the number of banished monsters. And it has the secondary effect is when it's sent to the grave, you can um you can add one uh tribe brigade monster from your deck to your hand. I run three fractal. This is a fullest burial for tribe brigades. Three Karas. Karas um. You can discard one beast, wing beast, beast warrior to special summon it, and one kit, which is a foolish burial for your tribe brigades, much like um fractal. Also in the one Lurless Sapphire Swallow. If I have um Nerval in hand and a Sapphire Swallow, I can actually special summon both of them from hand. So it's a like, cool little tech, tar, tech card. You don't want to play the full Lurless engine because you don't really need it in this deck. That and you really don't have room for it. I also run the one Miss Valley Apex Avian. And then one barrier statue of storm winds. Moving on to the spells, I run three Elboros, the sacred lands of Samorf. Elboros, all winged beast monsters on the field gain during an attack. It has two effects. First, you can reveal one level five or higher winged beast monster in your hand. This turn, you can normal summon one winged beast monster for one less tribute. And if you control a wind winged beast monster, you can immediately after this effect resolves normal summon one winged beast monster. So it's a double summon for your Simorphs and Nerval. Also run the uh, one terraforming. I run three Simorph Onslaught. Simorph Onslaught, discard one winged beast monster, add two Simorph monsters with different attributes from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, reveal one winged beast monster in your hand, and if you do, reduce the levels of all monsters in your hand with that name by one for the rest of this turn. Next, I run three Simorph uh, Repulsion. Discard one winged beast monster, return all cards and your opponent's spell and traps down to the hand. And as an additional effect that you can banish this card from your graveyard, reveal one winged beast monster in your hand. And if you do, reduce the levels of all monsters in your hand with that name by one. I also run three Twin Twister, because if you if you go in second and your opponent has uh, cards in their spell and trap zone, 
it becomes much more difficult. As well as the one Harpy's Feather Duster. I do have an English one. I, I just like the design of this one a lot better. As well as a one for one and a Monster Reborn to round out the spells. Now for traps, I run the trap you pretty much play in every Wing Beast, Wind Wing Beast deck. And that is three Harpy's Feather Storm. Essentially, when you activate this, if you control a Wind Wing Beast monster until the end of this turn and get any monster effects your opponent activates. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it has the additional effect. That is, it's carded in its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can add one Harpy's Feather Duster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So it makes your Harpy's Feather Duster searchable, which is pretty neat, since you main deck it. Moving on to the extra deck. I run two Smorph Bird of Sovereignty. Sovereignty, during the end phase, you can special summon one Wing Beast monster from your deck. So it's a good way to get out Barrier Statue of Torrents, or not Torrents, Stormwinds. I'm the Apex Savion. Or during your opponent's hand phase, you can uh, bring out Nerval or one of your other Simorph monsters. And monsters this card, uh, you probably cannot target this card or Wing Beast monsters that this card points to with card effects. So it also does provide a little bit of protection for your uh, Wing Beast monsters. Also run the two Tribrigade Ferret, the Baron Blossom. Ferret, during your main phase, you can special summon one level 4 lower Beast Beast Warrior Wing Beast monster from your hand. And when it's sent to the graveyard, you can add one card from your deck to your hand, or draw one card and place one card on the bottom of your deck. Also run the one Silver Sheller and the one Omen. Omens can banish cards your opponent controls whenever a uh, Queen Beast, Beast, Beast Warrior monster is summoned. And this can especially summon one from Grave. Also run the one Ancient Warriors Double Dragon Lords, the one Bujinki Hashima. This one can be uh, replaced with uh, many other cards. I just currently have it in there for now. I also run the one Desperate Doom Eagle. It's a pretty good Link 3, although you probably won't be going into too much. I also run a Link Rebo, an Axis Code, and an Opelousa. Now for the XYZs, I run the one Recital Starling, the one Assembled Nightingale, and one Zeus. That's going to be it for my Smorph deck. Let me know, what do you think of the deck? think it's a pretty cool deck. Do you think um, the Tribal Gauge really help out with this deck? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video I make. Bye.